Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Jarell Nata. Today we're going to be doing a foundation review. We're going to be trying the new Pat McGrath foundation. It is so expensive. I cannot even believe that I have it with me. But when I saw it, I knew, like I already knew that I was going to order it. And of course, I got the primer as well as the powder. And I'm going to be showing you all the products. It is in this box. I haven't opened it and I like to open it with you guys to make sure that everything is okay. And you can see my first reaction. So if you're interested in seeing how it looks in my face, what shade I got, and all of the tea, please keep on watching. But before we get into the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. You can also click on the little bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video which is every single week and without further ado let's get on to the video <laughs> all right guys so what I'm gonna do is open the box with you guys right now so it does come with a whole bunch of paper and here is the three products that I order which is the foundation primer and powder so here is the box where the primer comes in and this primer costs 60 dollars all right so this is the packaging for the primer has the golden logo now the one thing that i noticed right here the sticker was coming out which for 60 dollars you don't want that to be happening um, you know, you want the whole packaging to be like completely perfect and also to let you know the packaging is plastic It's not glass. So before I start applying any of these products to my skin Let me just go ahead and let you know that I already prepped my skin using the glow recipe mist as well as the Moisturizer so just in case you're going to find everything down below in the description area My skin is really oily on my t-zone and pretty normal on the outer part of my face sometimes a little bit dry but for the most part it is normal um i am on my late 30s just so you know so my skin does have a little bit of fine lines around my eyes as well around my mouth just so i know like where things actually start settling in which is around my mouth and just to give you the information i do not have any acne any scarring or anything like that but i do have some discoloration around my eyes as well around my mouth and some redness around my nose but yeah that is it that is all the concerns that i have about my skin so let's go ahead and continue on with the process on applying the primer i am going to shake it i'm just gonna do two little pumps usually that's how much i use for primer <sighs> all right so it's, it does have a mild scent which i don't mind it at all and that scent is super familiar but i can put my finger on it so i'm just going to concentrate it around the t-zone of my face and then spread it out all right so i found out what the scent it just went click in my head and it smells like soap and glory the lotion but super mild like the super mild version of that scent so that's why it was just very very familiar to me so that's what it smells like once again it's super mild nothing that is too aggressive and you're going to be annoyed by whatsoever it says that the primer is supposed to smooth hydrate and blur um your skin to create a flawless canvas and makeup application that lasts so that is what it claims to do i'm going to bring you in a little bit closer okay all right so i do not see any huge changes just with the primer just to let you know um i don't see that it filled in any of my pores that i have here around my nose i don't see that it's blurring anything too much all right, so just to let you know, it didn't ball up or anything like that. It's not creating this little like little balls. Um, usually that could happen if you use a primer and it depends on the kind of skincare that you have going on. Sometimes it actually balls up, but I don't feel anything like, you know, creating those little balls. You know what I'm talking about. So just to let you know, once again, I'm looking at it and no, uh, I do still see the pores around my nose like on this side right here but i do feel like it actually moisturized my face all right guys so this is the foundation and it is 68 dollars you do have all of the information on the box as well here um the box is very luxe it does feel very weighty here you have the foundation it looks 
really nice super heavy you can feel that it's really really nice and weighty so that's a good thing all right so for this foundation you get 35 mil which is 1.18 fluid ounce now of course i was not going to do the same thing that i did with my last foundation review and get two foundations because this one is 68 dollars so I was not going to do that. When I did match my shade on the Sephora website, it matched me to light medium 14. So that is the shade that I picked up. That is what we're going to be trying today. And I'm hoping that it works well. It is a long wearing customizable foundation that builds from sheer to medium coverage in a wide range of universal hues that manifest the ultimate sublime skin standard. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up. As you can see, it does have a pump, which is a plus. So as you already know, Pamagraph is a makeup artist for models. So this is supposed to be for like the runway kind of model. Um, and I just want to know it will work for the everyday woman, which it will be me, <laughs> the mom. Um, and yeah, we will see. I just want to feel luxe with this foundation since it is so pricey. I just want to feel super luxe, especially for those occasions that I go out with my husband, that I want to feel like super pretty. And I just want to see if this will work so let's test it i'm going to pump some on the back of my hand so it is very watery as you can see so i did three pumps all right so i am going to try with the sponge half of my face first so this collection also came out with a brush two brushes but sorry <laughs> The brushes are like so pricey. I, I was just like, let me just let me just keep it real. All right. So as you can see, just from putting it on my forehead, you can see that it's really light for my complexion, which I'm okay with it because I can always bronze it up and I can, you know, make it work for my skin. I'm just blending it down to my neck. Okay, so that was three pumps. And you can see the, the redness on my chin. And you can barely see it on this side right here. The redness has calmed down. You can see also the redness has definitely calmed down on this area right here of my nose compared to this area i don't know if the camera's gonna catch it but let me bring you in a little bit closer it's doing a good job on matching the rest of my body as you can see so let me just back you up just a little bit all right so i'm using two pumps and i'm going to use a brush on the rest of my face and see how it works All right, and as you can see, this is the coverage with the brush. And I definitely like it much better with the sponge. Yeah, and I do still see some redness. So what I'm going to do is just try to build it up. So I definitely prefer this foundation with a sponge than with a brush. So I'm just going to add a little bit more on those areas that I want a little bit more coverage to see how it builds up. It doesn't feel like it dries really fast. It feels like it gives you enough time to move the product around. I still do see a little bit of redness around my nose, which we're going to correct that with the concealer. I am going to be using my Shape Take concealer because that is my favorite concealer. And I want to make sure that it works well with this foundation, especially just because of the price point. Like I wanted to make sure that it works really well with my favorite stuff. It does still feel a little bit wet. Um, it doesn't feel like it's tying up my skin or it's like drying up or anything like that. It does doesn't feel like a mask so just to make it to this medium coverage I use seven pumps of this foundation so I don't know I don't know I don't know about that <laughs> okay so this is how the foundation looks like
Okay guys, so this is how the foundation looks like right now with the concealer, which I really, really, really like it. So let's go ahead and just set everything into place. Now this powder is $55 and you do get 0.17 ounces, which is really not that much comparing it to the other powders that I have. So I am a little bit sad about that i did get the shade in light medium too um which is more on the beigey yellowy side so it reminds me a lot of the becca packaging because it does have the mesh all right so this is the color of the powder which i do like so i'm going to take some with my beauty sponge and i'm going to set everything I'm taking like the tiniest bit. I'm going to focus it more on the middle part of my face. Whatever is left on the sponge, I'm just gonna go over my whole entire face and neck. Um, it does feel a little sticky around this area. All right, I'm just setting the rest of my face because I don't want anything to be like super sticky. All right, so this is how the face looks like after primer, foundation, concealer, and powder. So this is what it looks like. So just to let you know, I had to put the sticker back again into here because I noticed right away that it doesn't have like a like the little plasticky thing to like keep everything in, into place. So when you opened back the powder again, it's not exploding all over your your desk or anywhere. So I am putting the sticker back again. So that's just another mention that I in particular not so much fun of. So after finishing up with the foundation, concealer, and everything else, um, yeah, I have no brows, but that's okay because we're here for the foundation. <sighs> My thoughts. I don't feel like, I don't feel luxe, people. I don't. But I feel like it's really dry and it doesn't give me any glow or anything like that. You might see a little bit of glow, but in person, I don't see any glow. I just feel like it's really mattifying my face and it might just work itself out with some of my oils as soon as I, you know, after settling in into my skin for a couple of hours. So it's 4.30 in the afternoon. It is on a Sunday. I'm going to go to my in-laws right now. I'm going to see if I can just do a little quick rest of my makeup. Maybe just add a little bit of clear mascara, nothing crazy, and my brows. I will check back with you guys and I will let you know my final thoughts. All right, guys, so this is the first check-in. It's been about an hour and a little bit of maybe like an hour and 15 minutes. And this is what it looks so far. Now, I was not able to put a lot of makeup on. I just have a little bit of bronzer and blush, but that's it. So as you can see, it matches my skin very well, like I've mentioned, like it does, um, it did oxidize just a little bit enough to match the rest of my body. So I have no complaint about that, but I do feel a little bit of tightness around this area. And I'm sorry I keep on looking up, it's just because the viewfinder is up here, my bad. So I do feel a little bit of tightness around this area, but other than that, that's it. All right, I'll check back. With you guys later okay guys so this is how the foundation is looking like right now as you can see it's still pretty put together it is 7 30 so it has been three hours since i last apply it since i finished applying the foundation um it's pretty good let me see if i can get in a little closer uh yeah bronzer is still there of course i didn't apply i just went really sloppy with my application of my bronzer and blush because I was in a rush as you can see I have like nothing else but my brows and yeah so the only thing that I've noticed right away is that the foundation feels sticky still which I don't know why that is because I you saw me using the powder so that's the only thing so whenever anyone is like kissing me to say goodbye or hello I feel like half of my foundation is like ending up on their face 
<laughs> so yeah, I will see you when I get home. Bye. All right, guys. So it is about 8.30 at night right now. And this is how the foundation looks like. As you can see, it actually just wore really, really nice. I don't see any patchiness or that the foundation is sinking in into any of my lines or anything like that. It doesn't look like it just rubbed off uh, except a little bit here on my chin. All right, so the truth is that I am not like super impressed with the foundation right now nor the primer or powder um i don't feel like the primer blur or gave me any blurring effect as soon as i put it on that's just how i feel um i did not see it like with my eyes i did not see any blurring from using the primer when i first applied it so i did not see like my pores or any of my lines or anything like that just being blur out um the foundation applied really nice but just the fact that we have to like do seven pumps so we can so i can get a medium coverage and that is just the type of coverage that i like um but i am not a light wear foundation like i do not use any bb creams you guys have never seen me like talk about bb creams i the only thing that i use is like the cc cream from uh, a cosmetics and that is still gives me a lot of coverage it's either i'm just wearing concealer and a little bit of powder and that is as far as i go but if i'm going to put liquids on my face like a foundation i want it to give me a really nice coverage but i don't want it to be so lightweight that i have to build 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 it up you know after applying the foundation i did feel some tightness that tightness went away of course but i do not see like my skin is like you know super um, like blurring I still do see like the pores and I do see it more than when I use other foundations and powders so maybe I will try the foundation again but with a different powder because I think the powder is just not uh, it's really lightweight it doesn't like bake or like sink into your pores and make them disappear that is not happening to me i do see the pores more visibly than normal around my nose and yeah um whenever i use other powders the powder that i've been using is the pretty vulgar one and that one like makes my skin look flawless the other one that i tried the other day is from beauty bakery and that one make my skin look so beautiful like totally loved it but i don't feel the same way right now about my skin with this one so so you know after paying 55 dollars 60 dollars and then 68 dollars for that foundation do i think that it's worth it no because i am not 100 percent happy with how it looks now do i think that it's super horrible and oh my goodness you don't get it no if you really like lightweight foundations and you don't want to feel like you have foundation on and it's okay if it's light coverage then you're going to love this one um i don't personally think that the primer did anything so i wouldn't recommend the primer at all um i do recommend the foundation especially if you do like lightweight foundation or light coverage foundation and you just want something for for every single day but at $68 it's really up to you and the powder I don't think so I don't it's just not my type of powder it's not the one that I you know like that just makes every single pore like it fills every single pore and it makes you look flawless um no it's not that type of powder also the other thing that i wanted to mention is that the shade matched me perfectly so i do like the shade of the foundation i think it's super super beautiful um it's just that it is 68 dollars, so that's why i'm being super harsh do i think it's super bad not at all i think that this foundation it's pretty especially if you are a light coverage girl like i mentioned that's it Make Bye. a tutorial. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys. So yeah, that's it. That's it. As you can see, the craziness is happening. I have to finish putting my kids to sleep today. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.